Hey guys, OJ Albina here, bringing you guys our CGT Week 1 battle against Kirby and his Walt Disney Landers. Kurt is one of my absolute best friends, and uh, it's really cool to be able to play him Week 1 of this league. We're both going to be going all out. He's been on the kill streak lately, so we have our work cut out for us, and he has a really, really cool team um, that he ended up drafting here. So hopefully, we can pop off and start off the season with a win, and I think we got the squad to do it this week. It's a pretty fun build, and I'm pretty proud of it. So if you guys do enjoy today's battle, be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Sub to the channel. We're on our way to 2,000 subs. I'd really appreciate it if you help me out along getting to that goal. And uh, yeah, that being said, let's jump into the team builder. I am going to do a quick team builder just so you can see what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. So you have that background knowledge and context going into the battle itself. If you do want to skip ahead to the battle, there's a timestamp on the screen and in the description below. Alrighty, let's do it. So our team, if you did forget, is at the top of the screen. And it consists of Mew, Dragonite, Thundee Eye, Toxapex, Blacephalon, Crocodile, Klefki, Lucario, Audino, Appleton, and Shuckle. Well, Kurt's team is at the bottom of the screen and it consists of... Zero Aura, Glow King, Urshifu Rapid Strike, Mammal Swine, Azelf, Suicune, Moltres, Registeel, Crustle, Drampa, Golbat, and Mr. Mime. Now, right off the bat, this is pretty brutal. Um, our Zara matchup is pretty abysmal. Now we do have Crook as a pivot, but we're pretty close to um, being just knocked off into knocked out by close combat. So uh, we can really switch into it once if Kurt's feeling super aggressive, and that's a about it even then if he catches up with a prediction in close combats he still do it goes us so it's not looking great for us in the uh, zero or part it can even be mixed with grass if he wants to get by intimidate or something like that but I think it'll be close combat um, so that's pretty darn scary glow king is always very annoying to break but I actually think we have one of the better glow king matchups in the league so I'm not super worried about that to be honest urge for rabbit strike um, I wouldn't be worried about if I was bringing a Toxapex, but I am not spoiler, so Urshifu Rapid is actually really, really threatening versus the build that we ended up going with this week. Mammoth Swine is the biggest threat, though, by far. Um, I do not have a switch into Mammoth Swine, something that does not get to a KO by one of its stabs, depending on its boosting item. Uh, we're gonna do our absolute best to try and take it on, but man, it's... It's looking really tough against this Mammo here. Azelf can be really scary offensively. Suicune is incredibly annoying for us to break. Uh, and then things like Moltres can be really tough as well, because, uh the manner that we're choosing to use something like Klefki this week. The rest of them, I'm not super expecting. I don't think Regis is great for me. Crustle, Trampa, Golbat, Mr. Mime, anything like that, I'm actually not super worried about. I think um, that top, like, seven-ish is so much better versus me in both instances that I'm kind of hardcore focusing on those this week. All right, that being said, let's jump into our first member, which is going to be Mew. Nice and stall breaker. We are Psyshock, Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, and Soft Boiled. We got 252 HP, 52 defense, and 204 speed with a timid nature evs wise we have enough speed for urshifu creeping a crocodile then we have the rest in our hp plus our defense um this thing is here to check mammal swine as well as possible we will always outspeed it and can wisp and soft boiled and things like that um we can take two non-ban hits as well from most variants uh, which is really really nice or we can at least take life orb into another life orb hit if we end up burning it which is great this is a great sweet coon stop um, this is a great Calm Mind Glow King stop, potentially, um, based on, like, poisons. We can check Zera, uh, depending on the set, and we can check Archfree, depending on the set. So this thing is actually really, really good defensively, and incredibly important to deal with Kirk team. Uh, I know it's Softboiled, uh, or <laughs> Stallbreaker Mew for the 87th time, but I think I think it's pretty necessary here in this matchup. Next up, we have our Dragonite, rocking out the Heavy Duty Boots Multi-Skill as its ability, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Extreme Speed. Eevee's eyes got 116 HP. 148 attack and 244 speed with an adamant nature. EVs wise, we have enough speed for an adamant Zera at plus one. We live a plus, uh, we live a modest plus one Galarian Slow King Ice Beam from our multi scale, and then we have the rest in our attack. This thing can go crazy if the rest of our team uh, kind of functions uh, as it should, uh, and that's going to be getting up spikes, forcing a bunch of damage, things like that. To where this or another member on our team can win a little bit later. So. I think D-Knight is really, really solid. We just need to get up spikes, and this thing can just win the game. We should also need to get in that uh, Mammoth Swine in range of an E-Speed, which is important. That and, like, our Urshifu needs to be in range of Dragon Claw. So, yeah, it can do really, really well. Next up, we have the aforementioned Blacephalon. Rocking out with Choice Guard. Beast Boost has its ability. Shadow Ball Trick, Overheat, and Flamethrower. We have 76 uh, defense, 252 at special attack, and 180 speed with a Timid Nature. We outspeed and urge food rapid strike. We have max special attack and the leftover and defense for random aqua jets and ice shards and things like that. Um, this Pokemon goes crazy into Kurt's team. Like I said, he doesn't have great ghost resist plus fire resist. Um, it really it's the Moltres that I'm expecting to come to stop this thing or potentially stop it, whether it be with like a sucker punching set, a spadef rest talk set, things like that. 
but that thing does not appreciate switching in on the overheat if we can catch it. Um, and you know, we'll get a little bit of offensive momentum in that, right? Either it rests or it U turns or switches out, and then it's into a KO range next time. And if there is no Moltres, then Shadow Ball is unbelievably free as an end game option to just sweep through Kirk's team. So I think Blacephalon has an insane matchup. We just have to chip everything in a range of it, and it can come in and just kind of win. Next up, we have our Crocodile rocking out the Rocky Helmet, Intimidate its ability, Earthquake, Knockoff, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge. We got 244 HP, 20 defense, and 244 speed with a Jolly Nature. We are outspeeding um, the base 90s. We live a CC after rocks if neutral from the Zero Aura. So if it wants to bulk up on our switch in, if for some reason Soul Reads, then I'm not Choppleberry for some reason, which I don't think you will. Um, after rocks, we'll still live a close combat even if it's not intimidated down there. Like we come in after he bulks up or something like that. So. That's obviously very nice. We have stone for things like Moltres, knock off to get rid of items and bully Azelf and things like that, and uh, Glow King, and then just rocks to get them up um, as part of our hazard stack game. Then, speaking of hazard stack, we have our Klefki rocking out the leftovers, prank stars, stability spikes, flash cannon, toxic, dazzling gleam, 244 HP, 60 defense, and 204 speed with a calm nature. This thing is here to kind of check the Moltres, but really? Just come in and get up a million spikes. Kurt has terrible removal. His removal is Golbat and Drampa. And again, I don't expect those Pokemon to come. Yeah, and I'm soul reading a little bit, but I really don't think they uh, they should be coming in this matchup. If anything, Drampa might come as a Blacephalon check. And I don't think he can fit Glare on it if he is that Blacephalon check and he wants to be threatening versus the rest of my team. So I feel pretty comfortable in getting up a bunch of spikes and going to town. And I guess Golbat could come too, but it doesn't really serve a purpose, you know? Um, so yeah, we're gonna be rocking out with Klefki here. It's gonna get a bunch of spikes. It's gonna naturally chew a hit from pretty much everything not named Mayo Swine. He also has to kind of respect the fact that I could be Magnet Rise for that thing. So he may even end up like switching out or pivoting out or something like that if I am with my Klefki um, as to not lose a bunch of momentum as I Magnet Rise. But you know, that could potentially come into play, who knows? And then last up, we have a pretty cool set in Lucario, rocking out the weakness policy. I think justified as its ability. Earthquake, Swords Dance, Extreme Speed, and Close Combat. We got 92 HP, 164 attack, and 252 speed with the Jolly Nature. We got speed for base 90s. We live a... Sorry, where do we live? Oh, we Oko. Sorry, we Oko Zeraora at plus 4 with an Extreme Speed. And then we have the rest in our HP just to, you know, live those hits a little bit better than we might need to live with our weakness policy, like a... Loking Flamethrower or an Azel Flamethrower or something like that. Even Drampa if it wants to come, a Crustle Earthquake, things like that. And even then, even if we don't get that weakness policy to proc, I think getting off a of Sword Dance is pretty obtainable against a team like this. And this thing is a phenomenal breaker with spikes up. It is really, really tough for good deal. Again, soul reading no goal bat because I think it sucks. Um, I think this thing can really pop off and do well. So we have a pretty interesting team, a pretty offensive team, but I think we've got the tools to beat Kurt, and I will be right back with the battle. Alrighty guys, here we are with the battle. We are connected with Kurt. Let's see what he ended up bringing. I know he brought Zeraora because he said it in the call. So we've already we've already scouted him correctly. So let's see how it ends up going. I know Mammal Swine's coming too <laughs> because our Mammal Swine matchup is abysmal. Um, and it might honestly even be oblivious for my crocodile intiming it because I don't think I have a lot of like thick fat mons that could really threaten it that much. We double check. We can kind of guess what he loads in. Um, is there any reason for him to be thick fat ever? No. <laughs> I mean, Blacephalon. He won't live a Blacephalon hit now. But even then, like after Hazard, he dies to Blacephalon anyway, so that's fine. Um, I really expect a Slow King, so I'm just gonna put down what I think's coming while we're waiting for him. Slow King, Galar Formation, Azelf, Suicune. Well, oh, I gotta hide my face. Drampa. He brought it. And then Suica. There's no Urshifu, which is so nice because I did not prep for Urshifu as much as I would have liked to. Um, I can find a setup opportunity and win with our good old pal a little bit later on, which is obviously very nice. Something that I think I'm going to do is lead off with my keys. I'll go from there. So uh, yeah, good luck, have fun to Kurt. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think we got it. I think I determined that Keys is going to be my best lead into something like Azelf. And he has to, like, respect me being Magnet Rise on his Mammo Swine, right? I don't think he just, like, risks it immediately. Um, and it doesn't, like, raw Oko anything on my team either, other than, like, Blacephalon, which he's going to switch out on, because I really think he's going to be Oblivious. Or, like, Crocodile. Um, 
He has to be like Sash or Chopple to not die to Lucario too. So I don't think Mammoth finds his best league with how good it is offensively this game. So I really want to get up as much spikes as humanly possible. Um, because that's really going to pressure his team a ridiculous amount. So yeah, good luck. I found a Kurt. I'll see what we can do. I'm very nervous, but it's cool that we get to play such a good pal in our first CGT game. Um, that's a lot of fun. So I'm ready to go. I even got the Dragonite shirt on. So Bubbles can pull out a win here. Mushu. The Drampa. I'm okay with that. So we leave it with our keys. I'm getting them up. Stays in. Very interesting. Glare. Okay. So he's Glare. Something we have to keep in mind. I'm gonna get up spike number two. Stay in. You defog? No way you're defog, right? Gonna flamethrower me. It's also fine. I'm gonna toxic this turn. Fuck, dude. Oh, that sucks. That's really annoying. Oh, well. Now, is this my opportunity to go into Lucario and Sword Stance? I think it might be. We're nasty. I don't think he's gonna let me kill this. Why aren't you switching? Why aren't you switching, Kurt? Flamethrower. Weakness policy. He crit me. He crit me. Why aren't you switching? I, I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand why he won't switch his Pokemon. I, I don't understand why he's not switching. I just genuinely don't get it. We can still win, but like, this is ridiculously frustrating. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, I'm very frustrated. I don't know why Kurt's playing this way. We're gonna Willow. Is he like Sash lead Drampa? Why would you bring this thing if it isn't to check my Blacephalon? So we're gonna... Yeah, dude. I don't get it. He's like offensive lead, but it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand this brain. On the jackpack. I think he's gonna taunt. I, mean, I think he's gonna flare. I don't think you double Draco. And he'll go below 50, so if he's like a random Berserk side, it won't pop now. Uh, we're gonna soft wild. Yeah, now we switch. I'm just so confused right now. Like, I don't understand what's happening. I think what I do is I pivot here in double cephalon. So we're going to go into our uh, crook here. He does evil raw. I don't understand why he's playing so fucking aggressively. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm 
gonna get up rocks in case he switches. Expecting Scarf. He has to scout for Scarf, right? Or is he just not going to? I just, I don't understand why Kurt's playing like this. I just don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand what's happening and why he would play so aggressively. Like, straight up do not understand it. So he's gonna scout for Scarf. That's good. I'm not completely an idiot. Okay, cool. Great to see. So if that's Sash as Elf, it's also gone. Ugh, I'm just, I'm so confused. I love you, Kurt. But what the hell is happening right now? What the hell is happening right now? Okay, our Shadow Ball endgame is very, very viable. We just have to chip the Suicune and we win. Like, that's why I'm so confused as to what happened. Is he cast of G-King? Even Flamethrower, once the Suicune's dead, just wins. So confused as to how he's playing this game. So confused. Let's see what we can do. Even if we get like a Spadef drop on Suicune as it switches in, we're in a good spot. Not what comes in. Wait, this is perfect. This is perfect. Unless you're Scarf Suicune, I outspeed and kill you. Or knock you off. Yeah, see, this is perfect. Unless he's Scarf as Elf. Okay. Dragonite. Plus one after two spikes and rocks. To a Mammo Swine. Now level 50. Do we go this or do we go Mew? I don't want to pop my multi-skill yet. I'm going to go Mew and just Psy Shock. We just do a KO with Psy Shock. I need a calc and see how he did so much to me earlier. He's going to Scald. Fine. Don't burn. No burn. Cool. Wait, actually, that means I can just recover. I'm not super worried if he's rest. I don't think he's going to be, though. Or soft -boiled. Um, Let's see if we can figure out some information on that Azelf. Via it clicking energy. New York Crook. He has to be expert belt. He did like 90%. Yeah, he's got to be expert belt. Um, so from here, let's see what we could do. Dragonite at plus one. E-speed kills after side shock damage, so I'm just going to go for that. He has to be extra belt. Crit? 
to my Mew. Should not do that much. He has to be expert belt. So he's not Scarf. Right? Even modest. He's not shown Life Orb. Like, he can't be Scarf and do that much damage. I could also go D Knight and Dragon Dance up. So let's see, like D Knight, non crit, Expert Belt, Dazzling Gleam. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is my D Knight opportunity to set up and do some breaking and try and win with Blaze. He also might be scared of weakness policy. Sign. 50. So we got up two spikes and a rock. We have an 81% chance to oak with a, what do you call it? No spit after all. And then what about at plus two? I mean, I feel like I should be doing this anyways, right? Let's go as elf at expert belt, dazzling gleam, but even. No, nah, I can't risk him being Ice Punch, I don't think. I think I have to Dragon Claw. Because, like, if he was Dazzling Gleam, that was my best play. But if he was Ice Punch Mixed, I think I'd die. Yeah, I did. So I, I, I stand by my play. I think that's a fine play. Mamosh Queen. I think we win with Scarf plus Cephalon, right? Unless he has some crazy tech. Dude, the fact that we pulled this back is insane. Take Spike. Plus the Rock. He does minimum damage enough to kill me. So we're going to extreme speed. We don't kill, which is fine. He's going to Ice Shard. Also fine. We're going to die. Alright, Bocephalon. Boss up, G. Shadow Ball time. There's not a switching on his team. The Drampa died. He's gonna sack Speakun to not give me a beast boost. Um. Unless he's Trick Room. Trick Room Cassive is like the only way he does not lose this game right now. Pretty sure, because he also does not Oko me with anything. He doesn't Oko me with Shadow Ball. Yeah, no, he doesn't Oko me. You Scarf Zera? 
Come on, dude. You scarf Zara. You're not. Don't you die? Fucking AV. God damn it, dude. I'm I'm very frustrated with this game. I don't understand how Kurt played or why he played the way he did. Live. Yeah, I, I really don't understand Kurt in this game, but he won, so. Um, I, I really don't get this game, though. Like, I, I, I'm i gonna be, uh, we're gonna have a conversation after, because I, I really don't understand how he played with the Drampa. Maybe he had some crazy game plan, but I'm pretty frustrated. Um, but we lost, so. Good game to Kurt. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.